Dave Marker here, producer for Discovery Space at space.discovery.com, the Discovery Channel's website all about space, and this is your weekly wrap-up and preview for the site. Let's jump right into things with the weekly wrap-up. Uh, Got to show you guys this image. This is a dust storm breaking out on Mars. See that right there? That's 150 miles wide from about there to there, so it's huge. But in fact, that's a really small dust storm. Dust storms on Mars can be globe encircling, so they can go in the atmosphere and just cover the entire globe and that causes problems for spacecraft, but if we're ever going to land humans there, it's also going to cause problems for them because it can block out communications, it can block out sunlight so you get less energy in your solar panels. Big deal. So uh, it's really important to get more images like this. This is taken by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, by the way, because it's really important. And uh, speaking of Mars, this is the Spirit Opportunity rover, self-portrait. It's got a little pole in the center that you can't see, but it took a picture of itself. It's kind of a mosaic. And uh, that picture was taken in January of 2004. So uh, this coming month, January 3rd, 11.35 p.m. Eastern Time, is the fifth anniversary of the landing of the Mars Exploration Rovers. That's a really big milestone. Those guys were, there's two of them, that's just Spirit. The other one is Opportunity. Those guys were only supposed to last three months, so that's huge news. And uh, congrats to the Mars Rover team for making it that long. Uh, next bit of news I have for you, uh, Tale of Two Spacecraft and NASA. So there's two corporations. There is um, SpaceX, which is headed by this guy. This is Elon Musk. He's the co-founder of PayPal, so he, have he has lots and lots of money. And uh, the other one is Orbital Sciences Corporation, and it's headed by this guy, David Thompson. Well, uh, SpaceX, this is their Dragon capsule, and Orbital Sciences Corporation, this is their Cygnus capsule. This one is about 50% bigger than this one, and uh, NASA has just hired a contract with SpaceX for $1.6 billion to have 12 launches of this. Okay, so 50% bigger, 12 launches. Uh, they also hired this corporation for this capsule, 8 launches, at $1.9 billion. Okay, $1.9 billion for 8 launches, $1.6 billion for 12 launches for a larger spacecraft. Sounds sort of interesting, doesn't it? Irene Kloss uh, called Elon Musk as he was driving his family to Disney World. So if you want to check out that post, go to the Space Disco blog. Should have a link right down there. If you're on YouTube, look to your right, click the More Info button. Should take you right there. So it's a really interesting tale, and uh, I'm anxious to see what NASA says about the whole thing. Last bit of news I have for you. This is the White Knight 2. Uh, more private space flight stuff coming at you. White Knight 2 is a double airplane, as you can see, and right in the middle there, that is where Spaceship 2 is supposed to be attached. It detaches once it gets to a certain altitude and rockets off to the edge of space. Uh, people are going to pay $200,000 a ticket per person to ride this little Spaceship 2 rocket. And in fact, this is one of the first successful test flights of White Knight 2, so that's really big news. They hope to have, uh, they hope to be sending people to the edge of space by 2010, so that's really awesome. Uh, now for your weekly preview, actually it's not much of one because I had to push a lot of the content back from last week uh, because the holidays uh, wasn't as productive as I thought it was going to be. So this week you can expect some of the stuff I plugged to you last week, uh, plus a little bit of an extra surprise. So be sure and check the blog for the full schedule, which is all typed out for you, and thanks for tuning in.